Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to review Castle and Key Batch 2. Yeah, so this is the highly sought after, whole lot of talk online, mm -hmm. new release from Castle and Key. So uh, we're a little late to getting this review out, but we, yeah. didn't, we didn't go down to the big release. I think. I'm happy with that. That's a Is that meaty cork? Oh, yeah. It's Makes quality. It, geez, it looks like steel in the middle of it. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, so we didn't go down for the release to this. We just waited for it to hit stores. Uh, we don't have a batch one. We only have a batch two. Um, we have been told by a lot of people who we've talked to that batch two is better. So That's uh, half of it. Can't have heard that. I can't, you know, we can't claim one way or another, but just from everything we've heard from probably about a dozen people or so. So, but anyways, this is four years old. This is 73% uh, white corn, 17% malted barley, 10% rye at 99 proof. It's only $50 MSRP, which I will say this. Actually, I'll say two things about this bottle really quick. First off, maybe my favorite packaging so far this year. I mean, this bottle is gorgeous. It, it, the, you are correct. The bottle I, is that is turquoise awesome. or some kind of like shade of blue, green, whatever that is? Some some shade of blue. Whatever it is. And that gold just pops. Yeah, like, it really I mean, does. It's fire. It is awesome. And I wasn't sure what the cork was going to be, but like I, I like the like the top could have been really cheap feeling. Could have been. Yes, but I, agree. I thought I, I, all in all the packaging is super cool. On sure. This. Yeah. And the fact that it's only fifty bucks. Yeah. You know, because like I mean, we've said this all the time. Bourbon is going up in price, and it's nice knowing that uh, a new kind of craft bourbon's coming out. So. Yeah. So. Uh, and. I wasn't going to pay that pay secondary for the batch one uh, uh, if I didn't have to. No, so I agree. Uh, we're still looking for it because I think we're still going to try to review it if we if we can. Get well, our hands we would on it. if it's worthwhile if it's worth comparing them. We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about it at some point for time. sure. Uh, but also before we do start the review, go ahead and give us a like, comment, share, do all the fun stuff that you guys been doing. We've been doing this for shoot going on a year now. A little so, over. A little. This may be right It'll at be a year. be around a year, whenever the video will come out. So, you guys have been may awesome. right so, at a year. Honestly, yeah. today may be... I don't think it'll be quite a year. I think we'll be just shy whenever this video drops. But regardless, we're appreciative and we're grateful. So, And then if you go back and look at the first video, you'll see how far we've come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, all right. Let's get into it. Yeah, I think right off... Um, the citrus kind of is the thing that I think stands out to me. Smell, I, 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 the, the nose on it is actually kind of pleasant. Yeah, the nose isn't bad. I mean, there's nothing that stands out crazy on it, but it's just, it smells good. There is like a light citrus to it. Get a little, to me, that's what I get. Get a little yeast to it, maybe a little bready. Yeah, you could be right like about fresh that. bread, mm -hmm. like a loaf bread, not like a like a dinner roll or anything, like a fresh yeah. like sandwich kind of like loaf of bread. A little bit of cinnamon in there. That's what I. It could be just hiding with that citrus. Hmm. So two things that stand out on that palate to me: definitely more of that citrus note that stands out. And the youthfulness of it stands out. I think taste a cherry in there a little bit, um, right on the end. It's got a sweet. It's kind of got a little sweet at the back of your at the back of your tongue. It's it has a little sweetness there to it, and <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now, honestly, for for a four year old. It's not terrible. On that second sip, you get a little bit more of the oak wood kind of taste to it. Citrus is still there. A little bit of spice on the finish, but I, I don't, well, I say there's spice. I think that's more of the youthfulness of it. Yeah, I think that I stands think out. Yeah, I think you're correct on that. Because it, hmm. it's just pretty simple. Yeah, it. Is, I would say it is it's very forward with its notes. It's not complex in the sense like, and I, and I don't mean like it's basic, like in a bad thing. It's just, it's, it's very straightforward on what it is. 
I don't know if that's my thing though. I mean, it's it's okay. It's uh, I'd like to see you know a little bit more aging, uh, to something to yeah. see to see what it does. But the one thing it has on there that I just I don't I don't like, and it's not. I mean, it's not that I don't like younger whiskeys or bourbons or whatever. It's just you can taste that youthfulness on there. And I don't know if that's my jam. Yeah, I don't know that it's had time to really like really soak in there and pull those yeah. flavors out of it. I think every flavor there's like, you can, you get that hint of citrus, the citrus, the, the yeast that you're talking about mm-hmm. a little bit. Of, I, I, I had a little bit of cinnamon in that smell, but I think on the palate, the, the cherry kind of cherry woody taste mm-hmm. uh, was overwhelming, not overwhelming, but was, was there. Uh, it's just not a, it's not a long finish at all. Uh, mm-hmm. Not, not at all. Uh, but for this being, you know, batch two of their first, their first go around. Sure. At sure. It, I think I would say this, there's a lot of promise to it considering there's some nice fruit notes on there. Yeah. It, it, and if it's probably aged a little bit longer and I don't know what that is, like, I, I don't know what that looks like, but like, if you just take a little bit of that youthful note off that, I think this is actually pretty good. I think the proof on it's nice too. The 99 yeah, proof on it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that no, either. No, not at so. all. Uh, a lot of other people getting into the bourbon game, uh, a lot of other, you know, small distilleries sure. would would love to have something that tasted at least sure. this decent. Yeah, so, no, no, that's totally uh, I think that has it going for they, they. I think you can tell they know what they're doing. Yeah. To me. No, that's I, I, I think that's the thing that stands out to me. They know what they're doing. It's, not great it's not terrible um and you'll be able to drink on that yeah sure yeah, it does look pretty on the bar and it does look pretty on the bar for sure so what are, are you a buy pass try um uh, i already bought it so <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a buy for me be buy I, for you. I, honestly i would i mean for the price point i i, I mean and and if a hundred proof bourbon is you know in your in your wheelhouse mm-hmm. i think it'd be worth trying it's again it's not overly complex it, it's kind of straight to the point of what it is and i think you you'd enjoy it i i'm somewhere between a pass and a try for me and i probably more on a pass it's just there are certain notes i don't like in my whiskey or bourbon or rise or whatever i'm drinking on and it just has one of them so that's why i'm saying it's not it's just not my jam yeah. i do agree though i like where they're going with it sure. and it will be interesting to see what they keep doing and keep producing. Cause I, I do see the foundation of a promising yeah, kind yeah, of product there, for sure. so that I agree with. Well, tell us what you think about it. Uh, we'd like to, we'd like to know if you've tried it, even batch one, we'd like to know what you, sure. what you thought about batch one. So till next time, we'll see you. See you.